This week, we're diving into Creepy Pasta 2023 horror anthology directed by John Rhodes and Mike Marrero, starring Megan Bolton and Stuart Jackson. This film pieces together various unsettling internet horror stories, pulling us into the world of eerie entities and sinister plots. But did this movie keep us clicking for more, or was it one tale that we wanted to scroll past? Find out on Flick Flops. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Gary, real quick uh, Rotten Tomatoes on this bad boy, Creepy Pasta. Uh, currently, the critics have uh well, no. How, how, how the what we what? There's the, there's there's zero critic. No uh, critic reviews. Um, that speaks volumes. Uh, <laughs> the audience has it at fifteen. That's one five fifteen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. If you're keeping score at home, this movie is rated fifteen. Fifteen. Make a note. That's fifteen. <laughs> Damn, just put that in. Slide it right off to Ed McMahon. Um, I so I didn't know anything about this movie, Gary. Right. You told me to watch this movie. I did not look up anything. Yeah. Uh, Are you aware of what creepy pasta is? First, I was not. Okay. Did you look it up after? Well, it, it kind of. I, I'll say okay. no because I I don't have a definition of it. Okay. Uh, I I'm believe. Gonna, it. I believe it started more like as a Reddit thing. I have a I have a quick synopsis just to, in case there's anybody watching this that doesn't even know what the heck creepy pasta is. Because yeah, I didn't. Because it is not like a horror trip down to Olive Garden. <laughs> so it refers to short <laughs> horror stories or urban legends that are shared online. They're typically designed to frighten or disturb the readers. Um, mm. They usually have supernatural elements, eerie events, unexplained phenomena that are circulate, circulate on forums, blogs, social media. Reddit is the one that I'm pretty sure where a lot of these have come from. The term creepypasta comes from copy paste, reflecting how they are often wow. copied and shared across the Internet. And um, obviously they're creepy tales. So uh, well-known examples would be Jeff the Killer and Slender Man, I think is probably the most popular one that people have known. So okay. um, it's become kind of a big thing over the past decade, prob probably maybe. Um, and so this movie was a, a collection. I, be I believe they pulled it from actual creepypasta and I don't know how they did. I didn't read enough on it to find okay. out how the selection process was, but they had different directors as well, directing different, short stuff so mm. it's an anthology film with a bunch of short stories with one overarching story that to me doesn't make a damn bit of sense but we'll talk about that <laughs> Say, wait a minute that, that, that is never brought to fruition uh well that that explains a lot of my head scratching during the watching of this film yeah because i'm watching this and my, my, my first line of comment is the name is dumb <laughs> right. yeah and i just wrote that down that's when and i was texting you at six minutes in, I said, "Boy, I got I got notes." Yeah, and you're like, "Well, it's it's a long movie." I'm like, "Prepare a notebook <laughs> and make sure it's empty so, already." <laughs> um, I'll just run down my note. Well, do you want to get our reviews out so we can just start? Uh, yeah, our, yeah, our our, and, our, our, our poop -a meter right? And yeah, I will one one quick thing I will say is that this was not intentionally going to be one of the flip flops reviews. Uh, it, it was. My daughter and I, Cassie, were sitting and trying to find something to watch. It was in the library. She's like, oh, creepy pasta. Let's watch that. And uh, this is one of two movies that we did this with. Um, and this one was that one. And I said, Andy, if we're doing flip flops over, here's a horror movie. 
that we can add to that group of movies. So I wish we, your daughter was here to ask her questions. I I do too, and I and I think she wanted to, and then she is, just, is she well, aware of creepy pasta? Was she yes. hip to it? Okay, yeah, yeah. Because if my daughter had said, "Oh, let's watch creepy pasta," I would have said, "Are you high?" I already knew what it was too. I had no idea what this yeah, was. I already knew what creepy pasta was prior to this. Okay. So, so going in, I already knew that's what it was going to be. Okay. But okay. Have you, now that you've explained it to me, I, I kind of want to go explore because you, you know we both are fans of horror and scary stuff. So I'm in. I'm intrigued by that. I still think the name is dumb. Oh, I'll I'm, I'll say I'm sure that you'll get more out of the actual stories themselves. Yeah. As opposed to this film version of some okay. of the stories, um, but that's we'll we'll talk about that. Let's go ahead and do ratings. A quick reminder that our rating system is unconventional. We don't hand out stars; we hand out poos and TPs, up to five of them. And just to add more confusion, the more we give, the crappier we think the film is. Crappier, get it? Y yeah, it's dumb, but that's the way we do it. All right, so I'm coming in at five. A whopping five. Wow. Yeah, that is just, the, it doesn't go past five. It, no, I five mean, five is all of it. <laughs> I dabbled at four and a half, and I was like, no, because I would tell people don't watch it. It's not it, it's not good. Now you'll find later as we discuss it, there were some some scenes that I did enjoy, but I would tell no one, don't watch this movie. It's not worth and I'm sorry to the filmmakers. I'm not trying to ruin your careers, but I think you've done that on your own. I'm going to go go ahead and tell you that so we can continue um, that I also gave it a five. Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, I, I know our barometer in the past has been Catwoman, and I will tell you that even though Catwoman's a five, I would rather watch Catwoman again than watch this movie. <laughs> um, it was terrible and, and total disrespect to all the people involved in it because I thought it was terrible. I know. I, I should I shouldn't because we're supposed to be doing unfiltered film reviews and I try to not I kind of want to crap on people. Well I don't like, I sometimes Jesus I, Christ this yeah. was bad. It was, it was really just bad. bad. I, I don't even know how I got through the whole thing to be honest. And I think part of it was like it was almost like torture for, for Cassie by watching it. You know I'm rethinking Gary should I go back now and see Cuckoo in the theater and sit through to the very end just so I can say, all right, sat through this one. I should have sat through that one. <laughs> that, well, yeah. I mean, I I by far think Cuckoo's <laughs> way way better film than this. Well, yeah, because I didn't um, I didn't tap out of this. I wrote it out because I kept thinking, like, all right, this is maybe, just gotta get a little. Better. Maybe it's gonna get. <laughs> uh, yeah, this thing. I mean, first of all, there was some sort of. Uh, I you know I. I don't even know where to start because oh man, my background went all goofy again. Gary, it's creepy pasta. You, it's, I guess I can't wave my arms around. Something's going on. Whoa, your landing gear is not down. I think I think that I I offended the filmmakers and they now sent something <laughs> after me. So. Yeah, they're sending the uh, Slender Man <laughs> to come get you, or Jeff the Killer, or whatever it's called. Yeah. So uh, there's, I didn't. I mean, sure, I, you could tell. First of all. I didn't know at the time of watching it that this was different directors. Um, but you yeah, can I, tell as you're watching it, there's definitely a, a change of feel and, and quality as you go through these different. Um, so did you finish and, it? I did. Yeah. Okay. Good, okay. So we can talk. Yeah. To, okay. Good. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say it does towards the end. Some of the scenes, some of the scenarios, they were Okay. Again, right. I don't I don't recommend watch this movie because you'll be angry and you'll you'll blame us. Don't do it. But there were some scenes in it that I'm like, yeah, that's not a bad like you could explore that one a little more and maybe make a, a vignette of that one. Like yeah. Yeah, this to me came across as a uh, a horrible idea of the Twilight Zone. <laughs> yeah. You know, or the outer limits. Remember that you have vignettes like little segments? That's yeah. uh, but oh man, there's so much to say here. Uh, it's it's not cohesive. No, there's, there's no context of why you're seeing all these vignettes. The guy in the opening, who's through the, the through line, I, I never understand what the premise is of why he's Me neither. Why Me is neither. he bleeding out his nose? I mean, yeah. I just none of his none of it fits. He shows and, up to some house and then he's being forced to watch these things for some reason. Yeah, and and then at the end, there's there's a little bit of a of a come around, but like. I, 
Well, by that time, I'd so checked out mentally. Well, so let me do this. And I don't care if the, I'm not even warn spoilers. So the, the gist of the guy in the well, beginning, we'll, here, we'll spoil it all because yeah, the guy in the beginning, right? They're like, you know, he he has something he's trying to hide and it's on a it's on a thumb drive. Right. Right. And there's scattered thumb drives. My first thought was just take them all and walk out of the fucking house. Yeah. Like, why are you watching them all to find the one you need? Just take all of the thumb drives, walk out the house, throw them in a toilet or a grinder and get rid of them and move on. I don't know. I know it would have made any sense for him. The movie wouldn't have made any sense, but it didn't make any sense anyway. Yeah. Like that major just hole. Like, this doesn't make sense. I would have just grabbed them all and left because there's a well, dead body behind me. Yeah. To give you an idea, when Cassie and I are watching this, we were confused by what was even going on in the beginning. And I grabbed like the Wikipedia page for it. And it was saying, you know, this per it starts off with this person that's trapped in this house, which I never had the sense he was trapped in the house. And he's being forced to find these things because there's some force or something making him go through these things or something. I don't remember whatever it was. I was like, I didn't get any of that. None of that in the movie itself. We're trapped watching it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the trap. Um, yeah, I agree. I was like, why is he even there? Cause when he knocked, I don't know. I mean, from from minute one of this movie, it was terrible. Um, the <laughs> <Minute> only <one. laughs> it was man. credits barely started, and you're like, "This, like, oh awesome. my god, this would be bad." Well, yeah, it just even the way it's filmed, it's so low. I mean, again, yeah. you can really tell the difference in the direct the director of of the different ones because there's some of them that you're like, "That one's not bad." Yes, but then again, you know. It, is it because you're comparing it to the shitty one that you just watched right before it? Or, right. Or, was, or is there some actual talent there? I don't know, but I could, I would say that there was some that I was like, well, there's promise with this particular filmmaker stories. All the, all of the stories were pretty much terrible. There was a couple that were okay. That I was like, yeah, like you said, if you expanded on them, maybe they might be um, a little better. And, but overall it was like, what a complete waste of time. Yeah, I'm. I'm not surprised there's no critic reviews because one critic probably watched it and told everybody else, um, yeah, "You you'll want to burn your copy or whatever." Yeah. You actually just, watch. Just use but it as a coaster or something if it's a CD yeah. or DVD. But I did not keep notes, and I know that you did. So if there's yeah. something in particular you want to talk about, please do. I'll, yeah, I'll just run down my notes, chime in. Um, I did like the Slenderman reference. Um, yeah, there's a, a visual, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool." I mean, I know the general idea of the slender man story yeah i know it took a terrible turn up in minnesota where some girls did something yeah. hurt somebody but i mean i did dig the reference and that's a creepy character um there right. was a movie slender man too wasn't there yeah there was i don't think i've ever seen it uh, but maybe i will after this because i i like the the idea uh so that was <laughs> i that's a check mark i give that a check Okay. Uh, I read a note here, 26 minutes in. I got to remember my note here. 26 minutes into the movie, Gary. Uh, the four girls that are eating the charcuterie, right? Okay, yeah. Do you, you know, right? Yeah. Um, and telling stories. The movie at this point doesn't make any sense. Honestly, like the filmmaker, uh, it's like the filmmaker had a bunch of ideas for story, for scenes and shot them. All right? Yeah. Like there's just I, I got this crazy idea and this is where this is where it really triggered me and I sat down and wrote down, um, so I wrote like a the scenes were are not scary, they're just generic old and boring. I mean they're just cliche stuff. True. Uh, yeah. B, acting throughout this whole thing is meh at best. <laughs> at best. Yeah. Uh, C writing needs help. Yeah. Again, you these are just ideas. It, it's like. If you took a, a a horror version of SNL and just said, yes, everything's going out tonight. Everything's going on the show. And no one's editing. Going, well, that one's not good. Yeah. That one needs to punch. Let's punch that one up a little. Let's bring in a script doctor. Doctor. It's like it's like student films if they were filmed by elementary school students. <laughs> I have. So you, you jumped me there. Uh, so I have uh, D, zero cohesive throughout the entire film. None yeah. of it. None of it ever makes any sense. The flow doesn't make any sense. I don't. I don't even understand. And you brought it up that he's just watching all these things on these different thumb drives. That's not even even explained to you. No. So it just jumps from scene, and you get this this creepy little child narrating the thing, and I'm like, I, I don't understand. Like, what what am I? What's going on here? Like, again, 
dude, just grab all the thumb drives and leave. <laughs> right. And my last little note on that is E. Uh, I could accept this if this was a student film project. Yeah. I could accept it. Like, okay, that's that's a young filmmaker. He's he's learning those ropes. Yeah. Got it. And maybe it was. I don't know. Maybe it was. But I don't know. I don't know. It's just so then my positives that I had, uh, do you remember the segment called The Gray Man? I don't know what's it called memory. that. So the, the young uh, woman is writing a series of books and the characters okay. of the gray man. Right, right, yeah. That segment I thought was pretty cool. So she's writing this book. Uh, her character is called the gray man, and he's I, I'm assuming it's a horror character. And she's by herself. The lights are low. She's in her little condo or a house. And there's just that Stephen King feel, like almost like uh, the dark half, you know, mm -hmm. where the characters come into life. Right. And I was like, okay, this one I like. I would explore this idea a little better and maybe expand it a little bit. Yeah. This one had some potential. So the Gray Man segment, um, again, this movie's not worth watching for that segment. Don't. No. <laughs> Please. No. Uh, and then the the scene with the young kid in the, in the bedroom where he didn't want to go to bed without the, the yeah. light on. That was the other one that I was going to say, yeah, that one wasn't too. That was well done. Yeah. Like there was a, there was a spot where he looks under the bed. Yeah. And you see the pair of feet crawl up, like step, climb up into the bed, ne mm -hmm. presumably next to him. Right. And I was like, oh, that is creepy as all hell. Yeah. So, um, and again, that's at the end. So it's like you were saying earlier that they were weak in the beginning. And as the film progresses, the scenes do get better. It's just not worth watching, people. No, it's really not. It's it's just <laughs> not. Um, I you know, I don't have a, a watch. This is. I mean, you want to watch something that's better than this? Go back and watch the old '60s reruns of the Twilight Zone. Yeah, it's way well, if better. You, if you want an anthology movie, I mean, they're not great, but um, a creep show, creep show. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not great, but it's it's way better than this. Um, it's, it's, that one's actually got kind of a, a pop kind of, uh, mm -hmm. or feel to it. Um, but it is right out of the, the comic books. Um, so that, that one, I mean, I, if, if you're going for that vibe, that's a good one. Uh, I agree. Watch, watch the old twilight zones, man. Those are actually well-crafted. This was just, this was just garbage. I mean, I, I there was very little. Even even the things that you mentioned that were good, I mean, you're talking about maybe a, a single digit percentage of the entire film that was watchable. I would say between those two and only two scenes, you're talking 10 minutes out of what, an hour and 40 minute film? Yeah. That's yeah. worth watching. Yeah. And again, like, I mean, my final note I wrote really big, just wrote weak, just weak. <laughs> it's, it's a weak, weak film. You know, writers, if you, the people who wrote this, like, dude, get better at your, at your craft. You know, just get better. Yeah. And, and again, I would love to be in a meeting where the producers of this film is a green letter said, yeah, here's here's some money. Go make this thing. Yeah. Go watch Tusk <laughs> over this. Man. And that's that's a hard watch. That is a hard watch. I love I... Kevin Smith. That's a hard watch. Yeah, but that is still that is better than this movie for sure. It is better than this movie. That is, that is uh, well, I'm not you quite go. ready to say it's it's go watch Catwoman because that's just a big flaming pile. Hey, look, crap. I'm just saying if somebody said you're forced to watch Catwoman or you're forced to watch yeah. Pasta, I'm watching Catwoman even though I, they're the same score. <laughs> I I I may I may agree with you on that one just because it, I, I mean Halle Berry is worth looking at in a cat suit. <laughs> this had none of that. No. Awful, hot garbage. Five yeah, that's all I got, buddy. My Five notes. Board. Yeah, I'm out. Hey, thanks for joining us, everybody. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let us know if you watch Creepy Pasta. And for God's sakes, do not go watch Creepy Pasta uh, if you, you haven't. haven't. If you haven't, <laughs> you haven't. Not. If you have, let us know. We want to know what you thought about it. Please, I'd like to meet the person that said, "Yeah, I like that movie." <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe not, but mm -hmm. thanks.
This has been a Touch of Madness production. Brought to you by the Creative Minds at Tommy Twins Media.